Saints fan, Zach Fish, the voice of the Dubuque Fighting Saints, with you here for another edition of Fighting Saints Weekly. Thanks for joining us for the program. The guys getting ready for a big weekend out on the ice. We'll recap last weekend's great festivities. Plenty going on at the Mystique Community Ice Center. Get you our call of the week and get you set for the playoffs. The Saints have clinched that spot in the 2014 Clark Cup playoffs. Good chance they'll be playing Cedar Rapids and mark the dates on your calendar. April 11th and 12th are possible games at the Mystique Community Ice Center. Those will be games one and two of the USHL first round of the playoffs. The Saints get second. They'll be at home. If the Saints finish third, the 18th and 19th will date you want to put on your calendar for home games, possibly. Circle all those and get ready. The playoffs are just around the corner. The Indiana Ice come to town this weekend. The Saints play a pair of games against the Ice. They have three in a row against Indiana. We'll preview those games in a little bit. Last weekend, the Fighting Saints had three games. It started Friday in Chicago on the road. Brett Boeing had 30-plus family and friends in attendance, and he scored just a couple minutes in the game on a beautiful deflection. Look at the highlights. It's 1-0 Dubuque. Chicago in the third period would make things interesting, but not after Dubuque could stretch their lead to 2-0. In the second, Max McHugh scored his first of two goals on the evening. Beautiful play, cuts around the defender, Tischke, and scores 2-0 Dubuque. On the power play, the steal would make it 2-1, but Dubuque gets timely goals from big players, scoring for the Fighting Saints. McHugh again on the power play, out of the box. Alex Primatera takes it himself, and he scores 4-1 Dubuque, and they would win Friday in Chicago. Big win for the Fighting Saints to start off a big weekend of hockey. Transition to Saturday, a game broadcast on KCRG 9.2. Fighting Saints in this one unfortunately fell by a score of 3-1. And a bad bounce, head coach Matt Shaw said to find the Saints. A crazy hop off the skate of Blake Hillman, off his stick and in, made it 1-0 late, early in the third, I should say. The Rap uh, Rapids Rough Riders, Cedar Rapids would score a pair of more goals. They would win 3-1, the only goal coming from Dubuque, Dylan Gambrell in the third period. Sunday, the Fighting Saints were back home, and they clinched a playoff spot with a 2-1 win over the Fargo Force. Let's look at the highlights of this one. In the first period, Fargo would take a 1-0 lead. Not much of a chance at all for Ben Johansson on this one, and it was 1-0 Force. The Saints would find themselves tying the game in period two. Originally credited Jacob Benson, upon further review, it was tipped by Carson Kuhlman, and it's 1-1 in the second. The Saints win the third period, would have a lead thanks to a late goal in the second, coming from Max McHugh. Great play by Shane Eiserman knocking the puck down, bringing it over the blue line. He leads it from McHugh. He snipes it top corner, 2-1. Dubuque would hold on. Johansson strong in goal. The Saints clinched a playoff spot. After the game, a post-game skate with the Saints at the Mystique Community Ice Center. Fans enjoyed this one as they went out on the ice. And a great event as the fans really took to the ice, met some Saints players, got some autographs, and more. Lots of great plays this past weekend. McHugh's game winner was big for Dubuque. That's our Call of the Week. Fans, it's time for the Call of the Week, presented by Pinnacle Cellular and Satellite and U.S. Cellular. Make sure to stop by their 4th and Locust and Asbury and JFK locations. Gray goes to the point. Saints on their heels. Right side, slap shot taken from Goff, and it's blocked there by Shane Eisman. Here comes Dubuque up ice. He's got Kuhlman with him. Eisman over the blue line. The late man McHugh in the high slot. He's got a shot. He scores! Max McHugh, a beautiful transition play, and he snipes it out of the bar. The Saints lead 2-1. to one. Pinnacle Cellular and Satellite, your U.S. cellular and direct TV one-stop shop in the tri-state area. Stop in their 4th and Locust location to save some money. Plus, visit their new location, now open at JFK and Asbury. Pinnacle can create a bundle for your TV, home phone, internet, and cell phones. Like Pinnacle Cellular and Satellite on Facebook to see their ongoing specials. And don't forget to visit their new location at JFK and Asbury. Max McHugh, 20 goals in the season for Dubuque. That's our call of the week. Congrats to him on a great weekend for the Fighting Saints. Well, the Indiana Ice are in town looking forward to this series. Hayden Stewart's a perfect 12-0 since joining the Ice. One goaltender of the week again this week. Hey, we wish him all the best of luck. He was a great Fighting Saint. Didn't work out here, but the Saints are going to have a fun time getting a chance to play their old teammate because the Ice are a tough challenge. Indiana, the top team right now in the United States Hockey League. A little bit of a playoff-like atmosphere. The Saints taking on the Ice three games in a row, two at home at the Mystique Community Ice Center. The next week, one on the road as the Saints finish up on the road, but three against the ice, that's going to be fun. And again, Euchre and Dubuque on Friday, 735. Honor the great card game. We're going to try to trump things here at the Mystique Community Ice Center. You have a chance to win a program poster just by purchasing a ticket at the box office. If your card, you pull, trumps the Fighting Saints box office attendance card. We'll also have a pregame Euchre tournament. Visit our Facebook page for more information about how to register. Email intern at DubuqueFightingSaints.com to get your team all registered. And we'll also have a lot of fun with that. And then Saturday, someone's going to win $5,000. Courtesy of American Trots, the winning edge promotion. It's been going on all month. 
not too late to sign up at American Trust Facebook page. Dubuque Fighting Saints game Friday or Saturday through the second period, as well as any American Trust branch. Man, I wish I could win that $5,000. There's going to be one lucky fan out there this weekend. Thanks for joining us for Fighting Saints Weekly. We'll take the week off next week as the Saints are on the road pretty much all week to end the season. We'll be back for a playoff edition in two weeks of Fighting Saints Weekly. We think it's going to be Cedar Rapids if things fall in the way they are right now. And we think the Saints are either going to be home the 11th or the 12th, possibly the 18th and 19th. Get your pay as we play tickets. Renew those season tickets by this Friday. Information on DubuqueFightingSaints.com. For Eric behind the camera, I'm Zach. We'll see you in two weeks when we talk in Clark Cup playoffs. Better get that playoff beard going.